hey folks, welcome to the Wolf Den. You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to remind everybody, well, how about this? How many of y'all break out your favorite plugs in the middle of the winter here? Or the middle of the summer. I always do things in the middle of the winter when it's 30 degrees outside. When do you sit down and you change out all the hooks on your plugs? All your favorite lures. Treble hooks. Single hooks. I don't care what kind of hooks. What it boils down to is if I, if I opened up your tackle box, do I see a bunch of plugs with rusty, bent, nasty old hooks? Well, guess what? It's time to change them out. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm taking some of my favorite wintertime, springtime mirror lures and getting a little prepared. And on a mirror lure like this, some of my favorite mirror lures of all time is just the old standard traditional, I'm so old school, is the 52MR or just the 52M. This one here with the fluorescent orange head and the yellow body with the uh, kind of a gold foil in it is, it's, believe it or not, in the springtime, February, March, April, has been such a producer. Um, I had one of these, actually these color mirror lures one time that I kept tabs on. And in one spring, I caught over 200 trout on it. And then finally, I pushed it. I pushed it to its limit. I started, I, I lost it in and around like the first week of June to a bluefish. So, changing your hooks out. Very important. On a mirror lure like this, it's as simple. They got little screw hangers in here. And then on the bottom, you just open up the eye and uh, slip on a new hook. The biggest deal I can say is probably is fitting the correct hooks to a lure such as these mirror lures. Um, you want to have the right size. So how do you collect the right size? Well, look at this. Take a look here. There is how you collect the right size. Oh my God, look at that one. Um, this is just one small bucket I have of hooks that I've collected over the years. All right, so what it boils down to is whenever you're in the, a tackle shop, um, anywhere, and you, you look in the bargain bin, don't hesitate just to grab uh, handfuls of packages of different size trebles. Um, you never know when they're going to come in handy. This is just one little bucket I have of two or three buckets full of different size treble hooks. I mean, I got ones in here. I got real high dollar owners, super strongs. I've got red with a gold eye, uh, short shank trebles. I mean, I've got tons of these. I must have really got into a bargain on these. Uh, let's see. I got VMC permasteels, um, just plain silver trebles. And let's see, I got some um, wide round bend, just black trebles. So this is the time of year. Take, take the time to open up your tackle box and go, geez, what have I been doing? If, you're, if you throw lures on a uh, consistent basis, you've probably already done this and you already know about it. But if you're like me and you use a certain time of the year to throw something like your mirror lures, um, it really pays to open up the box and check them out. I don't even want to show you what some of these hooks looked like when I took them off of here and how corroded and nasty they were. So, you know, because by the time and the end of the season, man, I, they're just boom, throw them in the box and until I pull them out again. And I seem to do this probably around every February. So changing out your treble hooks on your plugs, all you're going to need is a Good set of split ring pliers. 
on something like a mirror lure like this many times on these old school mirror lures, <coughs> excuse me, you'll need a really fine uh, screwdriver, flat tip screwdriver, something like that. Because what they have in here is they got screws where you're going to unscrew a little tiny, little tiny screw and a hook hanger. So that's pretty much all you need. Maybe for opening an eye, like this has just an eye, I unscrew that eye and I open it up and I just use my crimpers here to really grab it and just bend it open to uh, put on the trebles. But the whole idea about this is having the variety of hooks. So you can replace the hooks with what it came with. And then sometimes you can tweak it. If you want a lure to sink just a little bit more, like if I wanted this mirror lure to sink a little bit deeper, I might put on a heavier treble. So if you know your lures and you know how they're running and you know what you want out of them, then you can put on a heavier lure or you put on the exact same type of hook that came with it because it's been tuned to, to swim best, most likely, with those hooks. So that's just a little tip and trick that somebody probably has forgotten about. So I'm just reminding you, because guess what? I'm doing it right now, and I'm going to spend the time. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of my favorites that are going in the boat this week. And when I throw them, I know they're going to have brand new sticky hooks on them. So, there you go. Just a little tip and trick. And hopefully it works for you. Thanks for watching.